The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Jaguars have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. That's a seven-yard game. Here the defense is sitting in man-to-man -man coverage. The quarterback saw the receiver get a small opening, and he's able to deliver the ball for a nice game. Complete, brought down, nothing to it. He decides to keep it and gets the first down. Good decision there by the quarterback to hold on to the football and not risk a turnover. He goes out of bounds at the 38-yard line. He's at the 40, fires quickly, and it's picked off for the 20. And he's tackled at about the nine-yard line. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at it. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. It's first and goal. Nine yards to the goal line. It's on a move. Touchdown. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play. Taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Bobcats are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So it's second and 17. Ball on the 29-yard line. As a man, he'll lose big yards. This one will fall incomplete. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. Oh, excellent punt. And down he goes at the 30. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Ohio is up seven. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it 
first and ten. The 40. to the 18-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Hey, we got Mike 50. Mike 50, He's tackled around the 18-yard line. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. Ohio is up by a touchdown. Kicks up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The Bobcats are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Ready, green 88, green 88. Here's the halfback on the screen. They'll get him for a loss. their own 20-yard line. Third down. He's out of bounds around the 32-yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That brings us fourth and three. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Out of bounds at the 31. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They run it left. He's got room to run. And they make the stop at the 46. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And this one's broken up. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. It's second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Steps up. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Number eight, he intended 
receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Bobcats are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Going deep. Lays it out there. That close to being intercepted. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Four down, four down. Go to the mic. Here we go. Check, check. Hammerhead. On the reception, look out, nobody there. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does, and he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Mike 38, Mike 38. Set, Red 68, Red 68. So at the end of one, Ohio leads 10-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it, because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. made at the 30-yard line. He's looking for six. Touchdown. Big play. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And Brad, you're going to move the ball well when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to touchdown. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ohio has a three-point lead. He makes his way to about the 42. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Bring him down for a loss on the play. I think the corner is the toughest position to play in that football. You have to be athletic enough to be able to run with wide receivers and willing to be able to come up and make plays like this to be able to stop the run. This is a big time play by a corner showing the versatility to be able to come up and be physical in the run game. He gets rid of this one. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. He lets it fly. Nice grab on the play. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. Well, 
the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Here they come. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Rose, complete touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. The receiver screen falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Just throws this one away. is it brought down at the 48 the senior makes the catch and they get the sack perfect time to call the blitz he took a bit of a chance but it paid off by the linebacker being able to get through there shoot the gap and get to the quarterback So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Oh, this is a great job by this young man to get the ball out of his hands. He was facing an all-out blitz and didn't panic at all. It's a nice pass and a new set of downs to show for it. Taken down around the 40-yard line. Gets it out quickly. No game. That makes it second and ten. ten. Ready, Green 90. He scrambled. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up. And he just drilled it from long range. South Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback took the ball right away. Ohio is up a score. 
tackled around the 39-yard line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. And he just gets rid of it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Caught out in the open, and down he goes at the 48-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. South Alabama has gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen with his teammates, the rest of this group. They've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Gets it. He's in space. Ball is loose. Fumble. And the ball bounces out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Mike 38! Mike 38! Mike 38! Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. And he hauls it in. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29 yard line. Gain of 19 yards. First down. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. South Alabama's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here's the eighth play of the series. Strike to his receiver, no good. down and they need to get it to the 19. Well, they dug a bit of a hole for themselves and were forced into a low percentage pass play here on third down. But the good news is they still have a shot at some points. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 17-13, Ohio, South Alabama, to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ohio is up by four. And it's caught, and he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at about the 49. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Going deep. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bobcats. the second catch for six he's registered today. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game, it usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. And he converts the extra point. So a short three-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense ready to go again, and their last drive ended with three points. Quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Ready, check, check. Thunder, thunder. Tackle around the 37-yard line. Check, check. 200 check. Switch, 200 check. Make the stop at about the 47 yard line. That's a good 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Here we go! Wide 80! Wide! He's scrambling. The Jaguars, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He chucks it downfield. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. We've played a half of football here. Ohio's in front by 11. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There are a lot of ways to describe that first half, David. I, I think the best is, let me tell you, these offenses are just putting up video game numbers. But we talk about it week in and week out, and that seems to be a term that we like to use, and it's just high execution, doing everything that you want to do, just like you sitting there pushing buttons on a control. That's how easy it seemed. It didn't seem like there was 90,000 fans in the crowd. It seemed like it was just you at home, sitting on the couch, chilling, pressing the circle button, using the, using the stiff arm, using the ball hawk. Everything just seemed to go perfectly. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. 
Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Throws it away. Here we go. Mike 50, Mike 50. Ready. Ready. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He is drilled at the 45-yard line. That's a team of nine on the That brings up second and one. I got two. Number 33 with the carry. That's a team of five on the play. First down. Three down, three down. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. Mark 38! Mark 38! Mark 38! And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Three down, three down. Watch two. Ready, two. Three, nine, two. They'll bring him down at the 17. He's got it out to his tight end. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. Touchdown, Jaguar. And that was a perfectly executed play there by the offense. Yeah, the option is so tough to defend, especially right near the goal line. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 54-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 24-20. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team's put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Ohio holds a four-point lead. They bring him down in the backfield. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful the play-action pass. Can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Second down and 14. Ball on the 21. Go nowhere, 22. Go nowhere. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Makes it out to about the 30. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Drop 
down at the 18-yard line. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That's good for a game of 14 yards. And he's tackled right away. Number 35 on the tackle, the 45 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. Knocked out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Called in at five yards. That brings him second and five. Mike 38! Mike 38! And he's tackled at the 31. Gain of nine on the play. First down. Three down, three down. 38 to Mike. Check it! Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Second and ten. Ball on the 31. Slings it left. The junior makes the catch. That was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. He makes the PAT. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Around the 38-yard line. Ohio is up four. He fights forward to about the 36. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That makes it second and eight. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Ready. 
Deep ball, laying it out there. Can't connect. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he missed it left. No good. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Fires it out. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Here we go. He's wrapped up for the sack. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 31-27, Ohio. Welcome back to the action fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. So early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. Ohio is up by four. Looking for the corner. Makes it out to about the 36. his way out to about the 35. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it seven. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw to the tight end. That's a deep five on the play. That makes it third and three. Three down, three down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Runs outside for a nice game. They didn't try to just force something there. Just good, hard running for the first down. Ohio holds a four-point lead. He gets out to about the eight. And they get nice yardage on that run.
He's tackled at the one yard line. That makes us third and goal. Score. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. And it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. South Alabama's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. He goes out of bounds at the 30. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him seven it's second and five here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down. Slides on the play. That's a 15 on the play. First down. That makes it second and six. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle at the 42-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. Ready! Ready! Ready. 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 Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Most of the time, zone coverage will take away the out route. Not that time. From the 30-yard line, first down. Ready! Red 68! He might not be able to get the pass off. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick pass and a huge touchdown play. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. It's locked up at 34. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. You've got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. We have less than a minute to go. And here's a quick throw. And it's intercepted. And they push him out at the 41-yard line. In a close game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Maybe that pick was it, but who knows? We've still got some football to be played. 
from the 41 yard line. First down. He wants it all going long. He's got it. Touchdown. The Jaguars knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for him in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Ohio's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. And he is drilled at the 37th from their own 37-yard line. It's first down. He's going to try and scramble. No one open, so he's going to run. And they make the stop at about the 45. The Bobcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down at the 45. He's in trouble. Pad protection now scrambles. Slides down to the ground. Throws it. Can they do it? Missed him. Number eight was the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 26. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. This one's going deep to the end zone. South Alabama staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.